cardiac muscle tissue. This video is made for the Anatomy 10A Lab at Mount San Antonio College. Remember there are four main tissue types in the body. We have epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscle tissues, and nervous tissue. Because we're talking about cardiac muscle, we will zoom in on muscle tissues. Notice that all muscle tissues will contract. And all muscle tissues are found in three places, three unique places in the body. That is, we have cardiac muscle in the heart, and we have smooth muscle in hollow organs, and we have skeletal muscles, which are, can be found attached to the skeleton. Thus, we call it skeletal muscle. Now, let's talk about uh, where we can find them. Cardiac muscle in the heart. Skeletal muscle would be muscles that we can voluntarily and consciously are aware of contracting. And the smooth muscle would be the opposite, that'd be involuntary contraction. Here's a glimpse of the three type of muscle tissue side by side. Here we're going to focus on cardiac muscle tissue. So, high power view of cardiac muscle. And uh, you might be able to see some faint striations. Okay, not as well, the striation here in cardiac muscle is not as well seen as that in skeletal muscle tissue. Uh, but in addition to some faint striation, what you will see is this thing called intercalated disc. What is it? It's this random, very prominent dark line that runs perpendicular to the length of the muscle fiber. Now, unlike the striation, which are all evenly uh, distributed throughout the muscle cell or the muscle fiber, this intercalated disc appears randomly on the slides. So here you see a few. This one, this one, this one, this one, possibly that one. The other feature to notice is the branching. Cardiac muscle will branch. So here's a possible branching. Maybe over here is a branching. So unlike skeletal muscle, which all ran parallel bundles to each other, you will see more branching in cardiac muscle tissue. And of course, uh, the nuclei here in cardiac muscle uh, oftentimes may be more on the rounded side than the uh, squished skeletal muscle tissue side. So here's a drawing of the same thing, and here you can clearly see the intercalated disc and the branching as well, and some faint striation. High power view of cardiac muscle tissue Beautiful intercalated disc here, and some here, 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 as well here. You do see some faint striation on this high power. And notice the nucleus is rounded, not flattened like a skeletal muscle. And also here we see branching. Right here is possible branching, which is not seen in skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle, remember, was all parallel bundles. Here's another view, and you see some faint striation, okay, not as good as the ones in uh, skeletal muscle. But you do see intercalated disc, and when you see these things, you know it's cardiac muscle. Notice how round the nuclei looks compared to the skeletal muscle nuclei. And of course, there's branching. Another look at cardiac muscle tissue. Notice the branching, okay, branching here and here. Notice the uh, intercalated disc. It's, no, it's kind of hard to see, but here's one, here's another one, okay. And the striation is very faint. Not a good example of striation in this slide. Uh, notice the rounded nuclei, okay, the rounded nuclei. Another look at skeletal muscle tissue. Here, the intercalated disc is very prominent, as in this data with the letter A. Here's some more. Okay. And you do see evidence of branching, and you do see some faint striation. So the intercalated disc with the branching kind of tells you pretty much is cardiac muscle tissue. Of course, the location is heart. Great example of branching here. Okay. Lots of branching seen, and we do see some faint striations, as well as some 
intercalated disc here and here, here and here. Okay, intercalated disc kind of randomly found throughout this slide. Notice the uh, more of the roundest nuclei. Okay, rounded, not so much pushed. A great example of cardiac muscle tissue here because the intercalated discs are very obvious. You do see some branching and just a slight tinge of striation. Uh, notice the rounded nuclei here. They're not flat uh, like you saw in skeletal muscle tissue. Another look at cardiac muscle tissue. Notice the faint striation, the rounded nuclei here and here and here. Uh, the intercalated disc is not very obvious, but here's one, possibly here's another one, here's another one. Faint striations throughout. Low power on cardiac muscle tissue, great rounded nuclei, intercalated disc can also be seen, and branching. Okay, so that's all enough to make this cardiac muscle tissue. Another look at cardiac muscle tissue. Here the green arrow points out for you the intercalated disc. And then here you see branching and some faint striations to tell you it's muscle tissue. Some rounded nuclei down here as well. The same slide but on lower power. Uh, you do see a little bit of intercalated disc okay, throughout. And, a, and some branching striation is not at all visible on this slide. And that's it.